Hello, my name is Shannon Kringen and you are watching Goddess Kring. I decided to make another new video. It is now December, uh, I think December 15th of 2012 and I'm an American citizen. I sometimes wish that my ancestors had stayed in Norway or England or Ireland or Scotland, the various places that my ancestors are from. I think on my mother's side I am Irish and English and on my father's side <clears throat> I am Norwegian and Swedish. I kind of wish my ancestors had stayed in those countries. But we came to the United States of America and I have a few different things on my mind. I have gun control on my mind because of the recent mass um, shooting that we had in the United States of America. We seem to have a lot of those <clears throat> massacres um, because, well, I think for many different reasons, um, American culture tends to be pretty violent. Uh, American movies and video games. I don't even watch TV, but the mainstream American action movie with lots of guns, <clears throat> shoot 'em up, bang bang, car chases, and all that kind of stuff is very sad to me. Let me just say that what my background is is I come from a very non-violent family. I come from a very non-religious family. I was raised with no guns, so to me. I wish that we had gun control in the United States of America. This whole right to bear arms thing doesn't really resonate with me, which is partly why I like to go to Europe. Um, a lot of Europeans don't really have that right to bear arms kind of attitude, so that's kind of an American cowboys and Indians mentality. But <clears throat> I guess if I was king of the world, I would like to ban guns in America, knowing that people would still get guns illegally, but may, at least it would be harder for them to do so. But the reality is, you know, Americans are not going to go for banning guns. So <clears throat> my, my fantasy and my dream would be to regulate guns and make it harder for people to get guns and make people register for a license and then have to pass a criminal background check, have to pass a mental health test, um, have to wait and be patient, have to take a gun class, have to be certified in using a gun and get some kind of license for a gun and just make it harder for people to get guns and then if someone's going to get guns in, a, in an illegal kind of way okay we can't really control if people want to do that, if people steal guns or or whatever but underneath that is this underlying um, society that we have you know, our, our health care system, to me, the whole gun control issue is also related to the fact that we don't have health care. We don't have universal health care in the United States of America. And the whole fiscal cliff thing really pisses me off, too. There's tons and tons and tons and tons of money for millionaires and billionaires and for corporations who don't have to pay hardly any taxes. And there's tons and tons and tons of money for prison and there's tons and tons and tons of money for war and weapons and Wall Street and corporate interests. But then when it comes to money for health care or actually, excuse me, I have an itch. The United States actually spends uh, a lot of money on health care, but what the United States spends it on is on not giving people health care. Most of the money goes to for-profit health insurance companies, which are basically scam artists, in my opinion. So to me, I would like there to be gun control in the United States of America. And I would also like, um, I wish the government, you know, when people say less government, uh, I think, no, actually more government, but the right kind of government, a, go a democracy, a government that actually works for the people, where we actually elect people. The way it works in America now is, is just money. You know, the wealthiest people get into office, 
and the bankers and the lawyers and the lobbyists get them in, and the corporations. And so basically the U.S. government works for corporations. So that's not a democracy. The, the, the U.S. government works for billionaires and millionaires and Wall Street people and bankers and the military-industrial complex. And what I would like is for there to be actual democracy in this country. And I would like there to be nonprofit universal health care. And I wish that in my fantasy, I know this is not going to happen in this corrupt United States of America, but my fantasy would be we would have gun control. Not banning guns, but gun control, like harder for people to get guns, etc. So that it would slow down some of these massacres, perhaps at least it, there would be less of them and it would slow them, slow people down who want to do things like that. But also we have to uh, address the overall societal reasons why the United States of America has so many of these kind of violent things that happen. We're a lot more violent. The USA is a lot more violent than a lot of other countries. So <clears throat> the media, you know, American movies are full of guns and violence and car chases and shoot 'em up bang bang and people fighting. And yet we're afraid of sexuality or love scenes in movies and yet we have tons of violence in American movies and video games. I don't play video games. I don't watch action movies. I don't even watch television. I haven't watched TV in like about 3 years. And especially for actually for this holiday season for I don't really celebrate I'm not a Christian, but I'm a very spiritual person, and I'm very much into non-duality and Eastern philosophy mixed with all the wisdom and all the different religions is what I like. Pure consciousness and love and unconditional love, love, peace, joy, namaste and all of that. So, <laughs> forgive me, I'm scattered all over the place. I have a lot of thoughts in my head. For Christmas and New Year's, I am going to do a Vipassana 10-day silent meditation retreat. I've done this twice before at this time of year, and it's really refreshing. And you just go for 10 days and you do silent meditation with 99 other people. There's 100 people. There's 50 men and 50 women, and we all get fed vegetarian meals for 10 days. We all get to have a hot shower every day, and our job is just to meditate every day, all day. And we walk in the woods on trails, and we meditate. And I'm an interesting person because I'm, I'm kind of a hippie you know, a natural earthy kind of person, don't shave my armpits, don't shave my private area, and yet I don't, I don't smoke or drink or do any drugs, and when I hear music I see shapes, and I'm, I'm a very sensual, sensitive person, and to me nature is church, so these are some of my beliefs. Um, so I wish the USA had gun control, and I wish not banning guns, but gun control. So make it harder for people to get guns and make them go through background checks and take a class and get certified to carry a gun. Just like people have to get a driver's license and, and prove that they're a safe driver before they can drive in a car. Stuff like that. And I wish that the government would step in and abolish for-profit health insurance companies. And in fact, I think minimum wage should be doubled in America. And a, and a lot of, uh, I think Washington State is where I live in Seattle, Washington, USA. And the minimum wage here for low, low-end entry-level workers is $8 an hour, which I've heard is the highest in the country, which, which is outrageous to me because like, 13 years ago, I made $7 an hour at some minimum wage job. And so this is like several over 10 years later and minimum wage is only $8 an hour. That's insane. So my fantasy would be that the government would step in and it would it would force corporations to let union let workers have union rights. Healthcare would be completely separate from employment. Like my friend in England, he has the NHS, National Health Service, and his, his health insurance has nothing to do with his job. So if he changes his job or quits his job or gets fired from his job or if he's a student or a worker or unemployed, it doesn't matter. He still gets health care no matter what. This country would work so much better. You know, what, what, we, what, what I wish the USA would do is lower the military budget by about 90% because we spend billions and billions and billions of dollars on war and Wall Street. So basically, I would, I would reduce the military war budget. I would make sure that veterans, though, uh, soldiers and veterans, get all the medical care that they need. I don't want that cut. But the actual 
uh, money for weapons and, and doing violent things in other countries, the money for that would be cut. But the money for medical care would be maintained and, in fact, increased. I would want the USA medical health care system to be non-profit. I would abolish private health insurance companies that are just in it for the money. I know people that pay several, several hundred dollars a month to health insurance companies, and they don't necessarily get much for their money. You know, it's just that if they ever need a $200,000 operation, then they might only have to pay $2,000 instead of $200,000. In other countries, that's unheard of. My dad goes to Costa Rica for health care, for dental care, because it's 400% cheaper there than it is here. And my dad makes pretty good money, actually. He's not wealthy, but I'm low income. My mom and I are both low income. So I would, I would, I wish the U.S. government, if we actually lived in a democracy in the U.S.A., the government would step in and it would stop corporate, it would, basically the wealthy would be taxed a lot more than they are right now, pay their fair share of taxes, low income people would get a break, and every U.S. citizen, rich, poor, middle class, would, old and young, would get non-profit health insurance and I know in, in not health insurance but just health care see I don't want health insurance in other words I don't want to pay some company a monthly fee not knowing what I'm getting I want to actually pay my taxes and get automatic socialized health care and I know somebody in Scotland I know somebody in in um, Mexico and Australia and England and Norway and and yeah many different countries and they all get national health care okay and it's not a perfect system but it's a lot better than what we have here you know we spend so the USA spends so much money on health care but it's mostly on not giving people health care and it be, it's because there's price gouging in the USA you know we we think things need to cost a lot of money because pharmaceutical companies and corporations that's the way they want it and it's a lie to say that it needs to cost that much. So I'm happily going to do a 10-day Vipassana silent meditation retreat for this holiday season. Oh yes, and a minimum wage could be doubled in America. So instead of $8 an hour here in Seattle, which is minimum wage, I would like minimum wage to be $15 an hour, which is pretty much almost double. $15 an hour minus taxes for... for um, minimum wage jobs and in order to pay for this <clears throat> we would lower the salaries of people working above them so companies like Walmart or you know he, I don't want to mention a lot of names but big chain stores in the USA that make a lot of money and huge profits they could pay their workers $15 an hour and then the people working above them would have to take a pay cut, especially people that make $150,000 a year or more. They would have to take a pay cut. So that's how I would propose to pay for increasing people's wages to $15 an hour. I would give everybody nonprofit universal health care in the USA and I would double minimum wage and I would lower the military budget and I would I would tax wealthy people and corporations huge amounts of money because they make huge profits so they can afford to pay higher taxes. And middle class and low income people should pay whatever is fair percentage wise for taxes. But obviously low income, middle class and poor people are hurting a lot more than wealthy people are. So wealthy corporations, it's just, you know, if this was actually a democracy in the USA, some of the things I'm talking about would actually be happening. On another note, I am almost done with uh, college. I'm almost done with my BA degree. In March of 2013, I'm going to do my senior symposium presentation, which is going to be called Art, Identity, and the Sacred. And it's going to combine my artwork with my philosophy about why making art I feel like is, is healing and natural and I wish more people, I wish children, I was, I was so lucky and grateful that I had an artist mother who raised me and a dad who was really into comedy and music and he raised me 
Uh, I'm privileged in that way. I mean, my family is not wealthy at all, but I have fairly liberal parents who don't drink or smoke or do any drugs. So I'm so I'm so glad I wasn't raised by rednecks. I'm so glad that there's no guns in my family. I'm so glad that I was raised to think that art was important and that eating nutritious food and exercising. I mean, my parents raised me to question everything. They raised me to to think that nutrition was important and exercise and that doing artwork was important and that music and theater and dance and the arts are, are important things. And I was raised to love animals and plants and nature. And to me, nature is church. I'm not really a religious person, but I'm a very spiritual person, meaning I think we're all connected. We're all one. Um, the only thing that really matters is love. And I'm, I'm kind of into socialized democracy and I love nature and trees and plants and I took a forest class and I'm really really in love with the ecosystem is an amazing thing I, I learned that when a tree dies and the log falls in the woods it's actually really healthy for the forest to let the the log stay there and rot and there's all these creatures and animals and fungus and fungi and mushrooms that clean the earth. It's like natural nature's natural filter system. So rotting trees are actually really healthy for the forest and they should not be taken away. They should be kept in the forest. They store water and their habitat for many little creatures. And so basically rotting, when a tree dies and it rots, it's really good to keep it and let it rot into the earth. It fertilizes and it does a lot of really amazing nurturing, nourishing things for the ecosystem. So I'm going to get my BA and I'm just randomly sharing what's on my mind. This is just random. Um, I don't smoke or drink or do any drugs. I'm not into drugs at all. And when I hear music, I see shapes and I don't know. I'm for gun control, like I said before. I'm for doubling minimum wage. I'm for lowering the military budget. I'm for lowering the salaries of people that work above the people that only make $8 an hour so that we can afford to pay people higher wages if we lower the wages of the people above them that make 150000 or more. You know, there should be more equal, more equal distribution of the wealth in the USA. It's sad to me that somebody makes $8 an hour and then somebody else that works for the same company makes $80,000 an hour or 100000 or the CEO could make $7 million. That's crazy. Unfair. That's not a democracy. That's, um, that's just completely unfair. We have the polarization of the, the extremely rich and the extremely poor and the middle class is sort of disappearing in America and that's sad. Okay, so this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring signing off. Um, visit my website, shannonkringen.com, and I'm on Twitter and Flickr and Facebook and Live Journal, and I'm all over the place. If you just S H A N N O N K R I N G E N, Shannon Kringen, just Google me and you'll find tons of information. I'm a really good photographer. I think photography is my biggest talent. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show his. Here's a recent drawing that I did chalk pastel abstract drawing that I did that I really like and I, I paint shoes and I take photos of myself and I do lots of different kinds of artwork and I encourage you to follow your bliss and I was a blessed as a child too to have parents who encouraged me to do art and music and theater and dance and I also had some really good art teachers in high school and my mom put me in alternative grade school where the kids didn't pick on me anymore and I had some really good art and music teachers and I even like math art music and math and science and I had some really good teachers as a kid and I'm thinking I might get my MFA after I get my BA I might get my MFA and then I can teach improvisational art to people in a, th in a therapeutic kind of way um, I think every child should be exposed to creativity and art and if they want to do music or theater or dance or singing or acting or or drawing or painting or photography or just writing poetry creative writing I think it's very important for children to be able to and adults to be able to express themselves and be creative and 
I think the less TV you watch, the better. I haven't watched TV in about three years, and I don't miss it. I love watching movies, but I don't miss all the commercials, and I don't miss all the news, you know, the media and the news that's really stressful and emphasizes all the violent things happening in the world. There's so many good things happening. I've been listening to a lot of Eckhart Tolle lately about the power of now and being in the present moment. Follow your bliss. I'm taking a class on Joseph Campbell. I think we're pretty much almost out of time, but this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring signing off. I'm just randomly sharing with you what's on my mind today. So I'll do another video next week, hopefully. Although I might be on my meditation retreat, so I guess I'll just, I'll see you in 2013, probably. Okay, signing off. Follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring, thanks for watching. Okay, adios. Grazie, ciao, merci, au revoir.